WhiteCataractCoach.com. White Cataract Suture List MSICS. With hydro implantation of the eye wall, that's a manual shelved incision cataract surgery. Now, look at the wrinkles there on the conjunctiva. Probably there is a suture, like a superior traction suture under the superior rectus muscle. So maybe there is actually a suture here, but it's not going to be left inside the eye. So here's the pyridomy being done very nicely. And now a little bit of cautery. Now, the key for the whole SICS procedure is the incision. The incision is so important. Now, let's see what the surgeon is going to do here. Dry this up a little bit. And there's the frown incision. Now, that's going to help it really seal on its own without sutures. Obviously, we're going to create now a half scroll depth tunnel here. The key in MSICS is having a shelved incision. So if you look at the point where the blade enters the outside of the eye and then see where it enters inside the anterior chamber, that's going to be a tunnel length of probably three millimeters. Look how even the cornea there is being split in the periphery into lamellae. So this is that half scleral depth and kind of even per, half peripheral corneal depth incision. And it's very much a funnel shape or trapezoid shape there. And so now let's see, using this keratome maybe for a side port. Probably not going to go in all the way. No, let's, oh, there you go. So oftentimes surgeons in this situation won't even use a phaco machine. So they use a Simcoe cannula, which is what they'll use to remove cortex. And so there's two side port incisions and trapan blue dye going inside the eye. And now some probably anesthetic or maybe BSS. Let that stain very nicely. And let's see what this next step is. Here comes the viscoelastic, probably HPMC, hydroxypropyl methylcellulose. Yeah, you can see how it spreads in the cornea very easily. That's HPMC in all likelihood. Now let's take a look. Get the rexes done. All right. Using some real micro forceps here through the side port. Remember to make a generous capsular rexus. You don't want a baby rexus here because you got to let the whole nucleus up out of the bag. So you want to have that at least five millimeter rexus, even up to six, maybe even if it's a little bigger is okay too. I think ideal is probably five and a half ish, but we'll take what we can get. Just don't make a baby rexus. Now here comes the blade, the keratome entering inside the eye. There you go. You can see it's a pretty long tunnel length. And now going back in, here we go, entering the AC. Beautiful. And widen that up along the, the path you've already created. There's that big trapezoidal incision. And you can see towards the center of the incision, the tunnel length is maybe three millimeters, but out towards the periphery, it's probably like four or five millimeters because the frown shape of the incision. Here you go, getting the whole nucleus up in the anterior chamber. That looks great. There it is. Now it's time to deliver this baby. And so you can see releasing some uh, fluid there. And now what's going to happen? Let's take a look. Um, yeah, maybe viscoelastic going behind it. Protect the cornea, protect the capsular bag. And now we need to get this thing out. Here's a lens loop. And remember, don't push up. Don't touch the corneal epithelium. That's an irrigating lens vectus even. And so then you irrigate some of that le other lens material out. And hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our podcast? The best podcast in all of ophthalmology. You have to listen to it. An hour every week, not that long. And it gives you the secrets to success in your practice. Yeah, I'm totally serious. Check it out. Now, going back here. By manual IA setup, cleaning up that cortex. So no Simcoe cannula here. Not sure why the pears and TZs had to be made that big. Probably could have just had, if you're not using a Simcoe, which is wider, if you're using a bi manual IA setup like this, you probably could have made a smaller pears and TZs. And now here we go. Let's, now we're going to do some hydro implantation. So that, all that means is you're using the infusion of BSS through the side port to inflate the eye, inflate the capsular bag. There is the infusion. And then here comes a three piece lens going in the capsular bag. Get that dialed in nicely. Well, no, now it's on top of the iris. But put it inside the eye first. Maybe go through this other side port. Yeah, with the Sinsky hook. And just dial that thing in the bag. There's one haptic in the bag. Get that rotated around. Here's the other haptic. Get that in the bag as well. And that's a beautiful case. Now, the nice part here is this is a great procedure for someone with like a weak corneal endothelium. And the beauty here is you're not using any phaco power at all, even if it's a brunescent rock of a cataract. Now, spinning that lens around, not sure why so many times, maybe try to loosen up any residual cortex, but I didn't see a whole lot. So that looks pretty good. And time to basically just seal up the incision. Can call this a day. Now, in a case like this, I still like it to put a suture in. I just do. Maybe even a couple. I think putting a couple of sutures... Oh, maybe the lens isn't in the bag. Why more rotation? Why more rotation? I'm, trying, you, I'm watching for the first time with you. Okay, now it's for sure. I think it's for sure in the bag. But yeah, in the case like this, I'd put a suture or two. It won't take long. 
Here's hydrating up the pairs and TCs, and then the main incision. Get the pressure in the eye normal, and then you can check the incision, make sure it's totally watertight. If it is, and you can push on the eye, it doesn't leak, you're pretty happy. This is obviously going to cause some astigmatic flattening, but not terribly so. Maybe a diopter or two. And then at the end here, close with the conjunctiva with some cautery and call it a day. Here's the cautery. There you go. Close the conjunctiva. Get nice closure and protection of that wound. And look at that. Done with it. Beautiful. You got to learn MSICS. If you're an American surgeon, come on. Learn it. I promise. It's really easy. And you know what? You can find really good, good videos about this on cataractcoach.com. Look for the keyword MSICS in that search engine on cataractcoach.com. I'll teach you how to do it.